Hello, Adam here. Thanks for joining me again. Today I've got a very nice golden hour scene for you, but before I get to the video, I just got a couple things for you. First, be on the lookout when I start painting these trees over here. That's when I'm going to show the paintings that you all did from the last video that I made. Okay, so that's going to be a really cool thing. And then secondly, I just want to take a moment and say thank you to all those who have purchased my brushes on Amazon. It really means a lot to me. If you could take a minute and leave me a review on Amazon, that would mean a very, very great deal to me. Okay? All right, without further ado, let's get to the video. Enjoy. Okay, I've got my standard 16 by 20 canvas already covered in a thin coat of liquid white. If you want to see how I put on liquid white, I've got a video just for that. I'm going to reach down and grab a one inch brush. All right, this is part of my brush line that just came out. You want to check out my brush line i got links in the description and i'll put some links in the video from time to time but they're really good brushes and i appreciate those who have bought these so far all right i'm going to come right over here and go into some yellow ochre and with this video today uh, with as much detail that's in it it may take me a little longer than normal okay that's all right i think it'll be worth it if you stay to the end and i'll come right up here basically to the center just put a little yellow glow in the sky. Little yellow glow. Just using some crisscross strokes for the most part, but just getting some paint on here. Okay. I am going to smooth it out just a little. And I'll put some down here where we're going to have some water. I'll set that down, grab my palette knife, I'll mix up a little lavender color, so I'll just grab about equal amounts of crimson, phthalo blue, excuse me, Prussian blue, lizard and crimson and Prussian blue, about equal amounts, okay, we'll mix those pretty good. And once I've got that mixed, I'm just going to grab a little bit of brown. I'm just kind of stick into the bottom part of this right here. And I use brown just to give it a little bit of a smokiness to it. All right. Let's try that. And I just grab my two inch brush, the same brush that I used to put on the liquid white. Try to conserve my brushes. Come up to the corner and take a look. All right, there we go. I'll just crisscross this in here. Some of these areas through here and through here will get covered up, so I'm not as concerned about those areas, but we'll get some color all the way down into here. Maybe we'll let just a a little bit sneak into there. All right, I'll grab a dry brush now and blend this out, starting in the lighter area. Again, just kind of the same motions, criss crisscross strokes, but just go over it. Just trying to get to where most of the harsh brush strokes are out. Okay. I'll pick up my other two inch brush, go into the lavender, and we'll put a little bit of this down here in the water. Some of that will get covered up, but we never really know how much will get covered up, so we'll just get some in here leaving this mostly light okay back to my other two inch brush to blend I'll just go over it 
pulling it straight across for the most part. So we can go over a couple times just for some harmony of colors, but leaving this area for the most part lighter. All right, I'm going to pick up that one inch brush, same brush I used with the yellow ochre, and I'm going to grab some Indian yellow. This is a nice bright color. I have a couple yellows in the sky. And right over here, let's see, right about here, where I think I want the sun. So I'm just going to put that right there. All right, I'm just going to begin to fan that out. It'll kind of look like sun rays. Got a hair, I just flick it off, no problem. And I'm thinking about the sun being right here. So that's kind of the direction that the sun rays need to come from. Okay? All I do is just fan it out. And bring them pretty far out there. That's fine. Let's go over that a couple times. And I'll bring some of this down into the water as well. And go across. Okay, I'll reach over here and grab a filbert brush. We'll just put the tip right into some titanium white. Don't need too much. And again, right here where we said we're going to have the sun. So right about here. Notice we're a little, little off center in both directions. Somewhere in here. I'm just going to put the tip on there and just kind of just turn. Really, I'm just kind of wiggling it. Not really trying to let it get very large. Just turn it a little. It'll get kind of softer. Some of the yellow will blend into that white. Kind of soften down some. Okay. Want this to be, want this to have a soft look to it. And as you keep turning, it's exactly what happens. It kind of softens up. Set that down and grab a a mop brush and just very gently very gently go over that just soften up just a little just want a little soft sunspot okay all right i'm going to pick up my palette knife again make sure it's wiped off and grab some well i really just need a little bit of red grab some indian yellow Let's just come right up here. There we go. Kind of a nice bright orange color. Red and yellow. Let's just see what that looks like. And let me see, I'll grab a fan brush. Got my small fan brush. All right, I got a number four and a number six. Quite a bit of paint on there. And let me just come right up, right up here to the top. There we go. Nice, nice golden cloud for this golden scene today. I'm just going to get some color in here. Don't, don't have to worry about it too much. I'm going to go back over it with a mop brush and blend it out. Quite a bit of color in the sky. Leave a couple gaps in it. Okay. A little bit up, up over in there. Okay, let's blend that out and see what that looks like. We can always add more later. We take the mop brush, okay, and just, just turn gently. That's all you got to do. Looking for this just to kind of, just turn really soft. Those areas that we left open like this, that kind of creates a nice effect. Makes it look like clouds. Clouds of the light always kind of bounces around and you never really know what it's going to do. Just turn this and soften this color down. That's the look we're going for today. All right. 
Something about like that. I'll pick up the fan brush one more time. Put a little more paint on there and we'll just put in one more cloud right here, come in this direction. And we might see this some, it, it might get mostly covered up. One more little cloud right there. Okay. Do the same thing. Take our mop brush and just blend it out. Soften it up. That's all I'm trying to do. Okay, I'll reach over here and grab an oval brush now. And let's go into some yellow ochre. And some Van Dyke brown. Just make it a soft color. Real soft color. Going to make some background trees. Using some of that kind of golden color in the scene. So a little bit of yellow ochre. So right under the sun. Right here. Just gentle, real gentle touch. It'll be very, very, very much in the distance. But we'll put a few in here. We'll vary the heights. Just bring them over a little. Bring it up a little on that side. The same over here. Okay, probably all, all we really need for these, these trees right here. We'll set that down, grab our mop brush again. and You know, we want to practice good techniques at every stage here. So we're going to make some mist at the bottom of these trees. You know, it could come in useful here at the next, uh, the next stage that we put on the canvas. But... You know, even if it don't, this is good practice. All right. We're just blending out the bottom. Just turning. Making some mist. All we need to do. Okay, before we go too much further, I'm just going to grab a brush. I guess I'll use that other one-inch brush and get some more titanium white. And about right under that sun. I'll make sure we got some bright, bright, color right there. There we go. Later on, once we start adding trees and stuff like that, it might be, might be kind of hard to sneak that in there. So if I forget, we'll make sure we, at least we got something in there for now. Good. And I'll go back to my small fan brush and keep them with the colors we've been using. I'll just, you know, keep that orange on there and go right into some Van Dyke Brown for these next trees. All right. Some more background trees. Let's come right over here. How about right in here? I love the way that dark looks against the light. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to push, just push straight in. These may not seem like background trees right now, but as the painting comes together, you'll see. The, these will be in the distance. For sure. Okay. Just varying the tree heights. Same thing, I'll blend out the bottom of this. They come in useful. Later on, we'll see. Just keeping it misty a little bit. I'm even going to bring that up a little bit. Just kind of mystify that whole little scene there. Okay. I'm going to go back to my palette. Working a little bit of green. A 
And we'll take this tree right here. We'll actually give it a little bit of shape. All I gotta do is take my fan brush and just, just push a little. Just push straight in. Give it some shape. There we go. Start to build a little bit of land here. Don't need too much. And let's see. We'll give one more. A little bit of shape. Again, not, not too worried about it. And maybe we'll even put a little bit of grass here. All we've got to do is let this bend up. Push it in. Bend up. Kind of see how that, that misty effect has paid off. It's got a little separation right there. Okay. Let's grab my one inch brush. Same one I was using, but I get a little bit of green on there. A little bit of brown, make sure it's not too, too bright. We'll start to build a little bit of land right here. Just tap it. Not, not too worried about this. Might come back and change this in a little bit. You know, we can, we might think it's too bright. Or we might think it's too dark. We can always go back and, and change it. Right now, I just want to see it. Start to, start to build this picture a little bit. I'll come over here and grab a dry brush. and we'll Just bring a little bit of this down. Just start to build some reflections. Don't want too much right now. Just a little bit. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to go back to that one inch brush I was just using. And I'm just going to kind of put in, oh, another land mass right here. Just, I'm just going to kind of draw it in. I think I want one somewhere right in there. Somewhere in there. Not too worried about this right now. Just... Just looking at it, that's all I'm doing. Somewhere right in there. All right. I'm going to set that down, go back to my fan brush, and make some more trees. I'll get some of that dark color. Van Dyke brown, the lavender color, a little green mixed in there. Just a nice dark color. Okay. And how about... Right here, we put our first tree. Again, just make a line. Just touch this right on the corner. Don't have to be all that particular. Just touch and push and let the tree just come right on out of the brush. Slip my brush over when I get to the bottom to keep it a little darker. That's the goal anyways. Speaking of darker, I'll, I'll just turn this over and push this in and make that little land mass we just built even darker. I have a feeling the sun where it is right there would be pretty dark. All right, let's make another tree right over here. Nice, nice big one. Nice line, give us a guide. Also looks like a tree trunk. And just pretty much pushing right on the center where that trunk is. And just varying left and right just a little. Of course, going wider and wider as I get to the bottom. All right. Reload when you need to. Reload as you need to. There we go. All right, then as I put in a couple more of these trees, I think we'll take a moment and show you all some of the paintings that you all have done from the last video that I did.
really good, weren't they? Y'all do me a favor. Keep sending me those paintings. If somebody does this painting, send it to me. Just email it to my email, all right, in the information on my YouTube channel. And I'll put your painting in here on the next video I do. Let's pick, let's put one more little tree right, right here. Kind of stands out on his own just a little bit. Okay. Go back to my one inch brush now. Get some more of this color. A little bit of green. A little bit of that dark color. Just take a look at it. You probably have to take a lot of time and do some adjusting as you go along here. There we go. Just getting some color in here. Just building a little land. Okay. And I can already tell I'm going to want all this a little bit darker. There we go. Got the sun over here and the trees here. So I'm thinking over here would be kind of dark. I might get a little lighter as we go this way, but we'll, we'll go back and put some highlights in a little later. Just kind of dark and mysterious over here for now. There we go. I'll set that down. I'm going to grab a palette knife, get some Van Dyke Brown, Let's put some land under those trees. Start right here. Just work in just a little bit of land. And all I'm doing is just kind of pulling it towards me a little. Pulling it towards me. Will it get thicker as it comes my way? There we go. Now I'll use that same bit that I got right there. Grab a little white. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go right there. Make a little bit of a highlight color. I might even grab some oranges color and put it in that just to... Keep it consistent with the scene here. And we'll just kind of highlight these rocks a little. Okay. Grab my, my large brush. Bring some of this down into the water for reflections. You may cover some of this up in a little bit, but that's all right. Again, this is good practice. Bring it over. And notice today I'm not going to put a bunch of trees reflecting down in there. I just don't think it's needed today. You can do that if you want to. But I like the scene with letting the purple kind of stay in there. Now let me come up here and get a little bit of this white. Just get a little bit of white on the end of my knife and put a little water line right in here. Just in some spots. Focusing on letting that line be horizontal. Okay. All right, taking another look here. I think I'm going to have to grab my palette knife and just get a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, not too much, and come up in here and probably give this just a little bit of a land right under there as well. A little bit of highlight. And a little bit of a water line. Don't need much with that. There we go. All right, now I'm going to have to take. Oh, let's see. I just grabbed that one inch brush, get a little bit of green and right in here. All I'm doing is I'm just kind of obscuring this line a little bit. I just don't want a hard line there where that land comes together. Just kind of getting rid of it. So I'm just touching gently and just kind of working it back. That's all I'm doing. Softening that up. 
we go. Play with that a little bit more later if we need to. We'll leave that for now. We'll come over here and do the same thing on this side. And, and I'm just touching it. I'm just touching right there where that comes together just to obscure that. This dark area, you can't really see what's going on too much. You don't want that line just kind of sticking out there like a sore thumb. You want to just obscure it. That's all. So just, just touching that. Good. Okay, I'm going to pick up my two inch brush now. This is the same brush I initially used for all that purple color. I'm going to turn this into my land brush. I'm just going to go right to some green. Sap green, it's got that purple in it. That's fine. Put some more of these dark tones in there as well. All right. And let's put let's put some more land. How about, how about right in here? We'll just put a little bit more land right there. All I got to do is tap. Just tap. No big deal. I'll set that down. I'll grab my one inch brush, go into some of this dark color. Maybe right over here we'll have some bushes sticking up. Okay. Something about like that. Bring some of that back for some shadows. Okay. And we go back to that large brush and Let's come right up here to some Van Dyke Brown. I'll get some of this orange color. Let's come right over here now. Now you're going to think I'm crazy. And right in here, kind of some background little, just some color. No big deal. And let's turn our brush now. This is some background, some background leaves for another type of tree we'll put in over here, okay? I know, you think I've done lost my mind, and that very well could be the case. I'll set that down, I'll grab my oval brush, let's go into some sap green. Love this oval brush right here, okay? One inch brush, really strong, got a nail in the furrow to keep it nice and strong, a couple couple nails, two on one side and one on the other. Get a little bit of this yellow ochre, a little bit of Indian yellow. Kind of worked in there. I like that the Indian yellow is a little bit softer. All right, so it'll thin it down just a little bit. And once we load that up pretty good, let's come back up here. And we'll start right up here. Just tap. See, this will be darker than the undercolor this time around. And that just looks really, really nice. Looks like this tree is really shining out. The sun on it. Beautiful color. And I'll set that down. Let me grab my filbert brush, go right into some Van Dyke Brown. Let's do this. Let's put a couple, just a couple trunks in it. Don't need much here. Don't need much at all. They're going to be in the background. Okay, grab my palette knife, some yellow ochre. Get some yellow ochre. Just Pulled out, need some on the end of the knife. There we go. And right here, let's put some yellow ochre right here on this edge of the tree, and it looks like the sun is shining. Shining on these trees. Really, really 
nice effect, if you ask me. All right, let's set that back down. Go back to our brush. I right, will make this a little bit darker, darker still. Right, one more time. One more time. Look at that. Even some darker tones. Just covering a few spots here. Let's, let's make it pretty dark up here in the corner. There we go. Very, very nice tree. Okay, let's go back to that palette knife. Make sure it's wiped off good. We'll grab some Van Dyke Brown, lay a little bit of land in here. Start right over here at the edge and kind of pull it away from you. Same procedure as the other side. We'll let it get thicker as it comes to us. Something about like that. Wipe that out and get a little bit of this highlight color over here. Okay. And a little highlight. Just gently touching, touching and pulling. Let me grab a big brush, pull some of this down for a little bit of reflection in the water. Don't need too much. If you didn't do that part, probably wouldn't be that big a deal. Back to my palette knife, get a little bit of titanium white. Starting right here. A little bit of a water line. There we go. All right, let me go back to this old fan brush here. I'll just wipe it out a little because it's got a lot of paint in it. And let me get some of this green. Just touching green just because it's super dark. But really, it don't matter that much. And again, right here, I just, just want to obscure this line some. I just don't need it to be that visible. All right, this would be pretty dark over in this corner. Just going to take and just obscure it and bend this backwards and give it a little bit of grassy texture here. All right, see, all I'm doing is taking this brush, pushing, letting it bend inward like that. Allowing some of that grass to pop up there. Okay, that would be pretty dark in there. You could probably even make it a, a little darker than that. I'm going to obscure this even more. There we go. Matter of fact, I'm going to get some some more of this dark color. I'm just going to darken this over in this corner. I really think with the sun coming in that way, this, this whole corner would be, I'd be really dark. There we go. Might be a little lighter towards this side. And not hurting it one bit, just to keep tapping it. Change the texture some, you can just keep tapping it till you like it. That's all. Okay. And I'm actually just going to stick with that fan brush. And even under this tree right here, I really think that'd be darker. So I'm just going to darken that. Just bring it out. Bring it out. Fade it in, fade it in. It, it, can, it can remain lighter over here. But behind this tree. See that? Made it darker right there and that just enhanced the scene. There we go. And I'll grab a clean oval brush. You might have to clean one. That's okay. And I'll just take a little bit of this Indian yellow here, a little bit of yellow ochre. And just take a look at this. And maybe right here, you know, maybe right over in here, there, there'd be a little bit of sun hitting some of these spots right here. Then it would fade into dark again. Let's see. Let me get a little bit of liquid white. A little bit of liquid white so you can see that a little better. And this might overdo it, but just so you can see it. Right there. 
There we go. Might be a little brighter right there. The sun coming in. Then it's got to fade into being dark. Same thing. There could be just a little bit of brightness right here. Could be a bright spot or two in there, but you got to let it get dark. You could determine where those bright spots would be. I'll grab my palette knife and grab some titanium white. Just in a couple spots here, maybe. Maybe there'd be a ripple of water here and there. Okay. Grab my mop brush, maybe just soften those up a little bit. All right, let's see. And just quickly, we'll do one more thing. Let's grab this big brush, get some of this dark color right over here in the corner. We'll just put another little landmass right here. Just quickly. We don't have to worry about that too much. Just push that in there. Be aggressive with it. We'll make it nice and dark. Nice and dark. Okay. And we'll set that down. We'll grab our filbert brush and get some Van Dyke brown. And how about right here? Actually, I'll get a little bit of dark color as well. How about right here? We just stick up a little tree. Just kind of comes up like that. Give it a couple little branches. Set that down, grab my liner brush now. Roll that through the color here. Just refine this tree just for a second. You know, all we gotta do is just kind of wiggle this thing up and put a branch or two. I make a little mistake, I can just turn it into a branch. There we go. We'll kind of kind of bring this around there, kind of almost like it's trying to hug the sun. I think that's a good little effect. Okay. Maybe we'll bring this up just a little taller. I'll go through some yellow ochre here. Try to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a highlight. Palette knife might be a better tool, but I got this in my hand, so I'm working with it. I'll just force it to work. A little bit of a glow kind of on this side of it. Now I just got to grab my big brush and kind of hide the bottom a little. Don't need to worry about this too much. Again, this is super dark down here. Grab this and go back through some dark and maybe just stick up a couple large blades of grass. Don't need, don't need too much here. Don't need too much. Might even just leave that out altogether. All right. Okay. With that, let's call this painting complete. I really hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you'll give it a try. All right, and I hope you'll check out my brushes. The links will be in the description. Until next time, be blessed. And remember, if I can paint, you can too. See you next time.